All right. New build. New update for high racing. Season 1 of 2021. Sounds early, but that's just how they do their quarterly updates. The way they do everything. Slightly before the real year. Anyways, you see the release notes. You can pause them if you want to check them out. Or go to iRacing, check them out. But I'm just going to talk about some of the oval stuff. Empty Box talks about the IndyCar and a couple other things. You can go check him out for what he had to say about it. Because the IndyCar is massively improved. It might suffer a little bit on ovals now because of the new tire. But it's way better on the road courses. And hopefully a teammate of mine follows through and gives me some dirt content to review. And we'll have that in another video. As well as Long Beach and a couple other yeah, pieces of content. So I guess we'll start off with the 87 cars for Thunderbird. But this got pretty good paint from either Enza or Trans Am, not sure. Well, anyways, this car kind of got reverted back to how it was a couple seasons ago with some minor changes they added last season. Put them together and you get this, which I still can't really tell the difference in terms of wheel spin is what I was trying to implement. Cars do feel looser now, which is great because they were just plowing tight at this track. Now that could be down to fixed setups being slightly improved or the car itself. I'm not sure, but the fix up here last time was ass. Plowing tight, no fun. This one, you actually have to drive it a little bit, so that's a step in the right direction. And that brings me to this, where they implemented some sort of wall arrow hair cushion up against the outside wall that allows you to run up there. I guess easier than before. It's still pretty difficult, but before you would just go in and throw it in there, and then it would either stick or you'd pound the outside wall with no in between. It's a very small effect, so don't expect it to grab you like, say, a dirt cushion would. But the biggest, biggest problem with this, the bottom still destroys the outside lane. I mean, it's just so much faster still. Even on 20 lap tires, which is usually when you see people start to move up. And that usually happens because the track heats up and it starts to slow down. Or the rubber gets built up and starts to slow down that line. So you start looking for a new line and usually they migrate right up against the wall at tracks like this. Alright, I'll just let you have a listen to the Xfinity car because they changed the sounds a little bit. Back to the wall thing. Being up against it creates a little pocket that kind of keeps you from smacking it, but like I said, it's small. But at best, I was able to get the top to be three tenths slower than the bottom. And that's at best. It's actually three quarters of a second slower at other parts of the run. Because it just never slicks off, never slows down, and... You know, the top never comes in because of that. So you're always going to be running the bottom. And this has always been a factor, I think, of the late V6, early V7 tire model. Current V7 tire model. Or whatever they're calling it now. It just can't interact like, I would say, the V5 did back in 2015. At least I think that's when that tire model, tire model was. I'm not quite sure, but you could run multiple grooves. Three lanes, up against the wall, middle, bottom. I actually have footage of that. Not in this video, but you'll find it somewhere on the channel. Just go look for it, I guess, or something. That's Cry Racing Series. So if we could somehow get that back with this wall arrow, then we'd be onto something. But this ear cushion deal just it's worthless right now because you can't do anything with it. You know, you're just gonna be slower, so you're never gonna go up there. The only good thing is, that means iRacing's still working on it, but there's some things to be learned about this V7 tire still. That is a pretty hard, I guess, topic to address. You know, that's like what the hell do Western Armies now? But with that said, that's just, at least they laid the foundation to work on this in the future. Hopefully we'll get to where we were a more accurate way. You're seeing this car on Long Beach, by the way. I have a video for that. And I picked the most unconventional car because why not? Anyways, that's sort of all I wanted to tackle. I know it was more of a complaint video, but that's not really. I just wanted to address some things. 
then maybe we can improve this in the future. Either way, it's a step in the right direction. Now, just to get the rest of the track to work like it's supposed to. Anyways, sim racing, Chewie-san.